Hi, I'm Chris Carpenter, a currently plans examiner for the city of Springfield. I've lived down there for about 10 years now after finishing a 10-year career at HP, but uh, my mom still lives here, so I'm in Corvallis pretty regularly. Probably not as often as a good son should be, but that's what happens when you have two kids, and they're in uh, junior high and starting high school, and so I am a nervous father with a 14-year-old girl going to high school. But it's good to be back here and see everybody well and carrying on with life and getting back together, so glad to be here. Hey, it's Rob Blair, and I've uh, uh, been with HP now for 25 years. I'm still with uh, in Corvallis, actually. Um, so local. Uh, my daughter is actually going to Hoover School, which is kind of odd since that's where I went. Um, and I had a stroke a couple years ago, so uh, I guess that's the noteworthy thing for me is uh, overcoming a, a health obstacle. Um, and so I have one daughter, she's nine. I have two older stepboys. Uh, I've been married now for 16 years um, and live in uh, Timberhill, Corvallis. So that's about it for, for me. Richard Barker, and I'm living up in Portland, and uh, after 20 years in Southern California, we're back here in Oregon, loving it with my wife and our son, and uh, happy to get together and see everybody, and we're loving being back in Oregon. Yeah, we were there. Hello, class 88, TJ Orman, Presley. I've um, been in Bend for 22 years. My parents still live in Corvallis. I've been happily married to Mark for 24 years almost. My high school sweetheart. Um, I work for a brewery in Central Oregon, Cascade Lakes. And yeah, I'm happy to be here. Two boys, age 16 and 17. Almost empty nesters. Yeah. Eric Deinzer here. Uh, it's been 30 years, of course. Um, for the last several years, I've been living in Los Angeles now, working in visual effects for feature films and commercials and television shows. And uh, i got to say, I've been feeling pretty lucky to have done that. I have three children and two ex-wives, and I'm... Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> and uh, that being said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about life. And I'm very, very happy to be here with all of you this week. Hi. <laughs> I'm Laura Paul, Laura Chance. Um, and I just had my birthday in June. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> uh, what else is new? I live in Bend, I have three kids, Trevor who's 16, Wyatt who's 12, and Lydia who's 10. Great kids. And um, I work for Ben Lapine Schools, so I'm off for the summer, having a good time, taking care of my mom in Corvallis. That's my life. And she has an amazing view from her house. And I have a really cool dog as well. <laughs> dilly, like a dilly bar from Dairy Queen. <laughs> Hey, I'm Natalie Cusforth, and I just moved back to Oregon two years ago after living in Colorado for 25 years. So I'm getting back to my roots. I lived in my uh, little my family ranch for a year, and now I'm over in Redmond, north of Bend. And it turns out that a lot of folks that we went to school with are also in that area, and I didn't even know it. So I'm figuring that out now. <laughs> 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 the Central Oregon. <laughs> so. Uh, let's see, I don't have any kids. I have a wonderful dog. She's like the third or fifth wonderful dog I've had in my life. <laughs> and um, I'm a clairvoyant, so that's what I do for work. I help people with their healing. And um, I love my life. I'm homesteading. I'm, I'm making these um, little old farm that was run down that I bought back into a workable farm where people What's can, like, your sign? What's your stuff. sign? And um, I'm being encouraged to tell you that I'm a Leo. My birthday was last week. And I am 48 like everyone else. <laughs> Thanks. Cynthia Engel. Um, I am over in Bend, Oregon. I've been there for 18 years. I took the long way there, though. I didn't take the two and a half hour drive. I took the other trip around the world to get there. Um, 
and I I don't have any kids. I play a lot. I um, I'm a competitive Nordic skier. I do a lot of mountain bike. You know all the things that people in Bend do. Um, and uh, I I've been working in study abroad for most of my life, which is that feeds my soul. I feel really lucky that I get to do it. And there you go. Here I am in Corvallis. Alright, Mike Schultz, so living in Orange County, California, surfing, snowboarding, still at Mammoth Mountain, um, hanging out here at the uh, class reunion. And that's pretty much all I've been doing, and trying to look for fun things to do still. <laughs> yeah, hi, Bill Allen, great to be at the class reunion. Been in different states, California, Texas, and back in Oregon. I was in academics, I was in Korea and Thailand for a while too. Great to be here, great to see the people, and great to be back in Corrales. Sean Capoli, uh, 1988, obviously, uh, after high school went down to Uvo, was a trader. Sorry guys, we're going to see you guys. But uh, after that, I moved up to Portland for a while. Uh, lived up there for about 17 years. Found my beautiful wife, and uh, we moved back down about seven years to Philomath, and love and living back in the valley. And uh, yeah, like, it was really, really happy to meet and also see a lot of people that I hadn't seen in many years this, uh, this round in 30 years. Uh, reunion. I met some people I didn't even know in high school that didn't have a chance to, and it's been a great, uh, great blessing to do that. So, looking forward to see everyone at the next one. Hey, I'm Mike Irving, and uh, let's see. I'm living up in Portland right now, and I work out at ADEC and Newberg and Dental Equipment Manufacturing. And I have three kids, and my wife, Bennett, who I met at Oregon State. And my kids are, I have a senior at Oregon State now, a, uh, my da middle daughter going to Oregon this fall, and then my youngest daughter's in eighth grade. And kind of my big thing right now I'm into is hiking, so I'm working on the Pacific Crest Trail, about halfway done with it. And so that's kind of my thing I do on the side when I'm not working. So uh, but it's great to see everyone here at the reunion. I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, number 40. So that's me. Hello, this is Susan Main, and I am doing this lovely video with Eric. So thank you, Eric, for uh, filming us all. Don't always know what to say, but uh, what have I been doing? So I can't believe I'm 48 years old, and I live in Portland, Oregon. Got two lovely daughters, uh, Sophia that's turning 15, and Alexandra that's turning 13. Uh, busy mom, busy working mom. So I do uh, IT consulting and pretty much travel all over the country, uh, working with hospital systems. Um, I live in Irvington, Alameda, in Portland. Um, before that, I. I uh, did consulting, but I lived in different areas. I uh, went to Oregon State and back here uh, in the Pacific Northwest after being gone for so long, you realize it's a pretty awesome place to be. So um, that's what I've been up to. Sure, class of 1988, Crescent Valley High School. I left my senior year of high school. I absolutely wish I wouldn't have. But I spent most of my years in Corvallis through both junior high and, and through high school also. Since then, I've been moved up to Portland. Um, had a crazy life in Portland, living, you know, running and gunning for many, many years on the streets. But got into sales and straightened my ways out once my daughter was born, which is a good thing. Um, since then, I've got over 32 years in sales and live in Ashland now. I'm a general manager for Blue Dog RV and it's just so great to be here and seeing all these familiar faces that I had such good friends with. Crescent Valley was the best school you could have ever gone to in high school. Everybody got along. It was just a really, really special time. So hope everybody had a great time at the uh, reunion here because I sure have. So thank you. All right. I have been completely out of touch for about 30 years. This is my first reunion and uh, this is the first time I've been back in the States. I live in Japan and it's been absolutely great. Your name? Ja ah, my name is Jason Ford, thank you for that. Um, and I ran track and I did swimming the last year of high school and it's just been great getting in touch with people that I didn't even know in high school. So it's been awesome. I am Sharon Rackham King, and this is our 30th reunion. I live in Corvallis. I am an artist. I have a studio downtown called The Hold Studio and Gallery. I also run Voices Gallery with a partner. 
Uh, I do watercolor and acrylics. I lived in Portland for 11 years, and that's where our two sons were born. I've been married 19 years. I'm loving Corvallis. It is so, it's really a treasure to have my kids in school here. I was able to teach art at their elementary school, Mountain View, for eight years. And I am really grateful to see these friends and to just, I'm really missing some of our classmates who are no longer with us. And it's, it's really um, sharing all the emotions and the time with everyone is a treasure. Do you want to go first? Oh, you go for it. All right, Kristen Batch, last 30 years wondering where this guy is. That was really fast. Uh, Tom Spencer, uh, last 30 years I've been uh, living in Yakima, Washington working for the uh, aviation department, well, the last 10 years. Uh, kicking ass, taking names, and uh, really happy to see uh, you guys and be here with uh, Kristen. Awesome. Hi, Carrie Gregerson. Um, what have I been doing for the past 30 years? Um, I live in Sherwood, Oregon. Um, I'm married and I actually, I'm probably the only person here who has the youngest little person. So I have a 15 month old and I am 47 years old, about to turn 48. Um, I have, what else? <laughs> I have um, had a kidney transplant. I did that one year ago. I had a daughter, Hope, and she passed away. And um, she passed away because my kidneys failed during pregnancy. And my absolutely wonderful dear friend, Lisa Church, came forward and she donated a kidney to me. And she was a perfect match. And as a result, after that, we went on to have a little baby boy through a surrogate, my son Luke. And those are kind of the biggest things. We live on a farm in Sherwood, Oregon. We have 20 acres with 13 cows, one horse, 14 chickens, a dog, a kitty. And I think that's about it. And that's it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm Al Hutchinson. Uh, I live in Portland, Oregon, and I've lived there for the past 20 ish years. Uh, my wife Bridget and I have a house there, and we live in southwest Portland. And as far as noteworthy things, not a lot of noteworthy things happening other than just uh, regular stuff. So, <laughs> staying at the same job for the past 18 years, things like that, not too exciting. So, sorry, I don't have anything more. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Todd Grigsby. Hope you're doing well. For those that couldn't make it to the reunion, we certainly missed you. We had a good turnout. Um, I'm doing really well. Live in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, I married uh, Heidi Thompson, who was class of 89. We have three great kids who are 17, 15, and 11. And we live down in Eugene, and uh, things are really good. So, hope to see you soon. Take care. Just uh, 
having a good time. Been running the bar at Deschutes Brewery for 22 years now. So I'm a co-owner and a big part of where I've gone and made my life that much easier. And writing your own schedule is a pretty good thing. So um, if you're ever in Sisters, Oregon and need a place to stay, guest room, I got one, look me up. So go Raiders. <laughs> Salmon, Washington. I'm a fish biologist. I have lived there for almost 20 years. Went to school in, at U of O and then uh, grad school in Fort Collins for fisheries. And uh, now I work for Bonneville Power Administration doing fish restoration work and um, live in White Salmon, Washington, right across the Hood River where it is beautiful in the gorge and love it. Everything's doing great. Hi, I'm Butch Nice and um, I have been to three out of three reunions now. I know everybody can't say that. That's my claim to fame, I guess. I haven't really done much else since high school. <laughs> no, just kidding. I, um, well, to make a long story short, I recently became a middle school counselor, so I just finished my first year doing that, and I had my summer off right now as we speak, so it's awesome. That's all. Hey class of 88, uh, this is Eugene Hahn. I am um, currently in Springfield, Missouri. I uh, originally um, went down to UCLA as an undergrad, graduated from there with a bio degree, moved to the East Coast uh, to go to law school at Boston College, and um, Let's see, after that, worked in Los Angeles for a little while as an attorney, as a patent attorney. And then my wife uh, and I, we had a son, Tyler, who is now 13. And um, at the time, she hated Los Angeles, so we moved to Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> um, in Springfield, Missouri, I am an attorney for a company called O'Reilly Auto Parts. And uh, we live there. We also have a daughter, 10 years old. Her name is Sarah. And uh, our life is made up of driving the kids to their activities in school and working. So um, not the most exciting life, but uh, I think we're in those child-rearing days. And uh, that's, uh, that's basically what I've been up to since uh, graduation. Hi there, uh, Chris Assel. I left Crescent Valley after high school and went down to San Diego and uh, I uh, dragged my girlfriend down there, Kim Osher, who was also at Crescent Valley a year behind us. And she and I have been together ever since. And we got married and we got three girls. We uh, waited quite a bit to get married and we waited quite a bit to have kids. So they're 10, eight and six. And we missed Oregon a ton. So we moved back here 14 years ago. We live in Portland, and I've got my family there, she's got her family there, and uh, it's good. We, uh, she stays at home, takes care of the kids, and I've been working at the same place since we moved there. Um, and I was super psyched when Huge told me we were having a reunion. I'm not on uh, social media much, but when he told me I was psyched, and uh, now I'm here. I'm Jeff Merton. And I am not a member of the class of 88, but my brother Eric Merton is. And so I'm here as a proxy interview for Eric. And Eric is at a family reunion. So they're camping in Utah with my folks and a bunch of other family members. Uh, Eric is married to Dion O'Brien from the class of 89 at Crescent Valley. They've got six kids. Oldest is 21 years old, and the youngest is maybe six years old, or pretty young, so they've got a wide spread of kids. Four girls, two boys. Uh, they do a bunch of homeschool, and then the kids head off either to high school or college or whenever that happens. 
He is at Hewlett Packard and is managing a group related to the large format commercial printing. And Dion is active in the community and particularly in the homeschool community. And uh, they just built a house over off of Highway 20. Uh, they raise chickens commercially. They've got an egg farm. They've got livestock dogs, and they they hunt predators, whether it's uh, bobcats and mountain lions and coyotes or whatever is coming for the chickens. And they're doing great. My name is April Merton, so I'm here at the 30-year reunion. I have been uh, raising a family for the last 20 years. Uh, married my husband Jeff from the class of 87 in. 1993, so we're celebrating our 25-year reunion this November. Um, my oldest daughter is going to be a junior out of BYU this year. I've got one that just graduated from Crescent Valley, and she's heading to BYU. I will have a junior at Crescent Valley and a freshman this year, and we're making the last transition from homeschool to um, seventh grade this year. So my baby will be going to. Um, this is a big transition year for me because I won't have anyone at home school. So we've kind of gone from the decade of having babies to the decade of homeschooling my children and now I get to find out what I'm going to do. I raise goats. I have a small herd. We've sold a bunch of our kids from this year so I'm down to about 16 right now. And making cheese and learning to uh, make soap hopefully this year and um, enjoying, enjoying watching the kids grow. Things. I graduated from Oregon State University in 1995. I uh, worked at Hewlett Packard after that. And uh, currently I'm in the uh, mortgage industry. I'm a home lending advisor for Chase Bank. And been in the mortgage industry for 
about 16 years. And so that's uh, what's, what puts food on the table. Um, I live in Albany, so the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Uh, I grew up in Corvallis, and, and uh, yeah, that's uh, only about 10 miles away from where I grew up. Um, other than that, uh, I'm raising my two kids uh, by myself in my house right now. Uh, wife and I had a divorce last year, and uh, they're with me. So uh, I'm happy about that. That's a good. That's a good thing. Um, I love to golf. I love this reunion because I get to see all my old buddies. Eric Dinesers here. I don't know if you knew that. He made an appearance. Yes, he's here somewhere. If you can find him, videotape him. Find him. Anyway, peace. I'm Neil Thorns. Thanks. My name is David Harrison, class of '88, Crescent Valley High School, and we are with the most greatest people that we could ever be with. For the last 30 years, I have been through a lot of ups and downs, and I am now a pilot for the Intel Corporation, and I enjoy life with my kids. But we all have pages in our book that we don't want people to read, and uh, we'll just keep them that way. So congratulations, everybody. I'm glad we're all here, and I love you all. Hey, well, I'm Scott Michelson, and I live up in the Portland Bethany area. And for the last 30 years, well, the last 30 years, I've been bouncing around. I've done a lot of different jobs. I've done restaurant management, collections, um, done banking work, and then I uh, had a friend who was a reserve officer in the city of Portland, and uh, he got me hooked on this whole police bug. I believe that it started when I was a little kid watching Adam 12, that uh, I probably got it, but I never realized it, you know, it was kind of a subconscious thing. And so uh, he kind of got me hooked on it, and so I applied, I became a reserve officer back in 2000, and uh, a year later I got hired full time, and I've been doing uh, police work for 17 years now. Uh, very interesting job. I don't work for Portland, I work for Washington County, so not quite as crazy, but there's, there's some moments, right, that uh, can be very interesting. Uh, our job is uh, never a dual moment once you get in the car and you drive out of the parking lot. I've uh, been married for getting close to 14 years now to my wonderful wife, Julie. Uh, I have a daughter, Camilla, who is 12, that we adopted about two years ago. And uh, that was very interesting. We've been on a very interesting journey regarding children. Um, but uh, we're very fortunate to have an inter-family adoption uh, for my wife's family. And uh, she's been a blessing to us. And we hope that we are somewhat a blessing to her because she's had an interesting life. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's just been very interesting the last uh, you know, 17 years of my job and uh, how things work in my job and dealing with the stress of that and having a family and trying to intermingle those things and working shift work and, and that's, uh, you know, kind of the, the balancing act that we've been doing the last at least 15 years together. Um, I did not meet my wife until way after, not way after, a couple of years after I got hired. So, no. what else? Tell me, tell me more. What do you want me to ramble about? Um, I've kept in touch with a lot of people, uh, the Grigsby's, uh, the Blairs, the Bakers, uh, good friends, been friends for a long time. Uh, so it's fun to it's fun to uh, see those people and come to these events because you see how people change and how they evolve and what they're doing with their life. And there's some people here from that I went to college with as well uh, tonight that I haven't seen in a very long time. So it's been very cool to see some of those people. Some from the rival Corvallis High Spartans. It's, uh, it's been fun to see all these people and interact with them because, uh, and see how their lives have turned out.